there are tools that have been used during this research. You know, and these are practical tools of engagement, of capacity building, like the participatory perspective analysis tools, and also the project before uh, this one, the uh, adaptive collaborative management tools. I mean, these, uh, we've found them as government, we found them as a sector of forestry to be useful even in communities beyond the ones that uh, the project has been working in. There are some of the tools that we have recommended, uh, you know, to use to build capacity of the communities that we are going to support in uh, largely restoration of the degraded landscapes and also you know, restoration of degraded uh, rivers and, and stream banks. We have uh, some of the what we call indigenous groups of, uh, of people in, uh, in the country and those indigenous groups live in the forest so they feed largely on uh, forest foods and roots and some of the leaves can actually be eaten uh, you know by some of these communities. So there is a whole broad uh, spectrum of, uh, of forest foods that Uganda's forests provide. This community has to negotiate for rights, those band of rights, with the responsible body if it is to benefit from this uh, arrangement or agreement that we are talking about. So these tools are one such uh, tools that can empower communities. So for us as government, we think we should take them on.